Hi, my name is Vilna Furstenberg and today we are going to make a page um, using cut files and it's a special edition um, that I'm doing for Shamel on her website shamel.com. So please come in and visit her on her beautiful website full of inspiration and scrapbook goodness. So with this page I decided to layer so we're going to be layering I think if I have a title for this process video it will be maybe layering with paint and chipboard and cut files and all sorts of beautiful things and I did not plan it out I just decided to go with the flow and we are going to be using that beautiful cut file that you can see in front of you. I used my silhouette to cut it out. It was designed by Kim Stewart and you can find it on iheartstudio.ca. And I'm going to layer it with just flowers and all sorts of chipboard embellishments and things. And I did not plan the page out beforehand. So it's kind of fly by night or just see where we go and I had so much fun making it it was really a fun page to make so I'm using the oh darling chipboard um, I think it's crepe paper that makes it and I'm just going to layer those pieces and see which ones should go where and then in the end I'm gonna put that beautiful cut file on top of it and paint and all sorts of fun stuff until I feel the page is done. So you will have a very good insight into my process today because um, like I said this is more go with the flow. I absolutely love this Oh Darling chipboard. There are so many pieces in there that is just so pretty and you will see in the end how full of life um, the this page becomes just because of the yellows and the colors and um, and it's so springy and flowery it's just so pretty now I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and just adhere my chipboard pieces and Pretend that you did not see that I used a little bit of hot glue on my photograph. Just close your eyes for a second. It will be over. And then you never saw that I did that. Um, I'm eyeballing it. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just, um, you know, placing it here and there. In the end, I discovered that those chipboards actually do have um, sticky back. So you can just remove the the paper on the back and it will stick to it and I'm just adding a dot of hot glue there and at the bottom somewhere and just to make sure that my cut file won't move and that's the first phase of this page right the next thing I want to do is I want to add my title so the word sunshine is also a cut a silhouette cut and this one was designed by Jen Kincaid and you can also find um, a, a set with phrases where this one is included on iheartstudio.ca and it's a beautiful beautiful handwritten cut and there's many more so because I chose the word sunshine I decided to go with yellow so now I'm taking my um, gelato I have two colors there, a light yellow and a dark yellow, and I'm just um, coloring around the edges. So in retrospect, I went a little too wild with the dark yellow, so I had to tone that down with paint later on, but you will see exactly just the process of what I'm doing here. So now I'm taking, um, I'm fetching clean water and I'm going to be um, just adding a little bit of water as you can see there to my uh, gelatos just to make the colors flow and I'm just coloring in between the the chipboard there and 
And once this was dry, I decided to add some ac acrylic paint, just because the yellow was a little too bright, but some of you might like it that way, and that's fine. You know, if you want to um, make it really um, pop, then you can leave the yellow, but I'm always muting things down and just making it calmer and you know more subtle I guess so I'm taking this paint uh, I started with parchment but then I decided that was not white enough so now I'm just using uh, white acrylic paint I love the Liquitex paints um, the heavy acrylic by Liquitex and I just absolutely love painting with those those are my favorite acrylic paints to use and you can see I'm just painting back the yellow a little. And I'm just um, making sure that my brush is clean. And once that is dry, you, um, you we're going to add all the other things. Even though you can see I'm a little impatient there working on wet paint. So just be careful not to get your hands white. And then everything is full of paint, including your new blouse and your new jeans don't ask me how I know that so I'm adding a little bit of wood veneer and those wood veneer are by a company called pink fresh studio you can look them up at pinkfreshstudio.com and they make the most beautiful little wood veneers and it's painted those beautiful colors of yellow and pink and green and it was just perfect for this page and this is the second page I'm using these on for the past week so I'm really having a love affair with the little wood veneer pieces and now I'm just drying the acrylic paint and once it's dry um, I decided to stretch it out on just a white piece of cardstock so I'm just having, um, using double sided tape, you can see I'm laying down a lot of strips and then I'm starting from one side, I'm just cutting it a tiny bit smaller, but I'm cutting the top off, you can see I'm cutting the top off the page because I want that black and white chevron or stripes on the page. So I'm just going to lay it down and um I think you will see today firsthand how I give myself a paper cut and that's horrible I hate it when that happens just the ah I cut myself and it's so painful <laughs> and now I want to carry on <laughs> I'm sorry this is funny I want to carry on but it's bleeding and 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 I get blood on my paint and on my page and then I decided no just go and get a band-aid so, yeah, it's good to keep band-aids in your, in your scrapbook room. Um, I'm adding a little bit of the chevron tape, um, the black and white chevron. I just wanted to give it a little pop. And black and white always does that for me. So, um, and then I decided to add some black paint splatters. So right here, you actually want to cover your photograph because it's happened with me that... Um, there's a black paint splatter in the middle of someone's face. So that's a good idea just to, um, to cover a photograph before you add splatters. And I wanted to make the title pop a little more. So I'm using a fine point sharpie pen and I'm just tracing around the edges with it. And it's actually a little intimidating to do something like this on video. I don't know why, but but anyway, it worked out wonderful. So I'm just tracing the the beautiful cut file by Jean Kincaid, and then I think it you can trace it with any color, and you can even color it in with uh, markers or paint or or anything any medium 
but I like the white I think it worked well with um the love cut file and now you just want to be careful not to get your fingers into the paint because that's still wet and just because I decided just to add a little bit of a flourish there two leaves and then um, and then my journaling I'm going to write above and beneath the cut file there there you can see I band-aid my paper cut so be careful when you scrapbook you can hurt yourself so I'm just writing my journaling and then the page is basically done I like to write little notes to my girls I always write little letters or um, something meaningful I I'm not a day-to-day -day scrapbooker I don't record what's happening every day but I write little life lessons to them and sometimes it's very profound something sometimes it's just light-hearted it depends on the mood and probably how I feel so in the end I decided to add a little bit more white to my page even more and um, I just took a clean brush and everything was dry now and then I just painted a little bit more white on it and I loved the I loved it I love the texture of the white acrylic paint I love how it looks and I love how it dries as well so to me it was just a win-win I wanted to blend the yellow a little bit more and um, I was careful around the black ink splatters because my ink wasn't dry so that's why and I think also I'm adding the white because I'm used to working on a white background and this pattern paper wasn't 100% white so and there you see the page is done and And I'm super happy with it. You can see how beautiful the layers look. Um, you can see the flowers, but you can also see the cut files. And I think it's just such a happy page. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. And I hope I didn't scare you with my paper cut. And my name is Vilna Furstenberg. And I'll see you soon on the interwebs. Bye.